Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial we're going to demonstrate three different ways that you can load your textures in iClone 8.2. You can select a method that works best for you according to the project size and computer specs. You'll find your texture loading options in the performance section of your preferences. If we uncheck progressive texture loading here, it will revert to the original texture loading method which may have longer initial load times as you wait for the progress bar to get to 100. However, all textures will be completely loaded once it's finished. Let's look at the progressive loading options next. Once you check the progressive texture loading checkbox, you want to make sure that you also select after all models loaded. You can use the slider bar to set what percentage of CPU resources you're using for texture loading. You'll notice that the models load right away, however it will take more time for the textures to apply. You can perform any animation editing in your scene while waiting for the texture to load with no loss in performance. You'll want to allocate the percentage of CPU resources used for texture loading according to your specific processor performance, so not every machine will be the same. As you can see, allocating more CPU resources to progressive texture loading will naturally load them quicker. We have the option for manual texture loading. When this is selected, only the mesh will be imported when I load the project. If your project is heavy on the textures and you want to focus on motion editing or scene assembly, you may want to use this option to get the best performance. Applying new characters and objects to your scene as well as motion editing will be much faster as a result. When you finish your animation in scene setup and are ready for render or export, you can click on the loading texture button on the top right of the viewport in order to load the textures. When saving a project, you don't need to worry about whether or not the textures are loaded upon saving as they will be saved into the project regardless of your texture loading preference. We'll start off with a comparison of how much more quickly you can add elements to your scene with progressive texture loading. It allows you to edit content in various ways while the textures are still appearing enabling you to work faster instead of waiting for long loading times. Here I've loaded in two characters as well as a prop and positioned and animated them all before the second character even loads without progressive texture loading. This feature also helps speed up your Unreal Live Link plugin. In this example, I've set the option for no textures to load. However, when I activate Unreal Live Link and transfer the files over, the textures will still be applied in Unreal. This also helps to save system resources when operating Live Link and is recommended particularly for scenarios where you're focused on animation. Be aware that the Load Texture button in the top right of the iClone viewport indicates that the textures are not yet loaded in iClone. Here are a couple of comparisons when using Live Link with and without textures applied in iClone. You'll see that without the need to load textures in both programs, that the movement result is much smoother and less laggy. Playback is also a lot smoother as well. Another thing to be aware of here is that when transferring characters from iClone to Unreal via Live Link, you still need to bake the textures first if you've used the General or Live wrinkles type, the Skin Color Shader, or the Smart Hair Shader. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.